Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with some of the coolest tech for back to school. I've got to give a big shout out to the Google Store for sponsoring this video. They're the best place to get all the googly stuff you might want, including everything featured in this video. To start with, we have the ASUS Chromebook Flip. Now what makes this guy kind of interesting is the name. So if you flip it upside down, you get yourself flip mode. I'm not sure if that's actually the name, but I'm gonna go with it. Something that makes this even more interesting is that this is one of the very few Chromebooks that can actually run Android apps. So once you update it to the dev channel, you will see that the Play Store has been added. So to push this to its absolute limits, we have Candy Crush. Do people really play Candy Crush? Is this actually a thing? Um, oh, no, I meant to do that. Oh, oh, look at that. Sure, it's not gonna go blow your brand new $800 laptop away. However, it's totally enough for basic tasks such as web browsing, which is exactly what a Chromebook does best. If you want something a little bit more premium, the Acer Chromebook 14 is a good choice. So first of all, this is entirely made of metal, and for a computer that costs less than $300, that's not too bad. It's actually fairly thin and light for a 14-inch laptop, and you can bring the hinge all the way out. It's not really necessary, but it's cool. We're also getting a more powerful laptop. So inside, we have a quad-core Intel Celeron processor paired with four gigabytes of RAM. Considering how lightweight Chrome OS is, this is more than enough. It also has a really nice 14-inch display. Not only is it 1080p, which honestly is pretty much perfect for a laptop like this, but it's also matte, and that can come in seriously handy when you're using it outside, around windows, where there's a lot of glare around. It makes this much more usable pretty much anywhere you are. Since it doesn't use a ton of power and need a fan to keep it cool, the battery life is actually really solid. So it's rated for up to 12 hours, which honestly should be plenty to get you through a full day of use. And that's really one of the major advantages of using a Chromebook. Not only do they have good battery life, but they also can do pretty much anything you need to do while you're in school. And on top of that, they're fairly affordable. That always helps. Next up, we have the Nexus 6P. This is a really underrated phone. While there are tons and tons of options out there, there are a lot of advantages to using a Nexus. Not only do you have stock Android, which is awesome by itself, but you're also always on the cutting edge of updates. So no matter what kind of tasty Android treat they cook up, you're gonna get it first with the 6P. It's also just a really nice phone to use. While it is a little bit on the bigger side, there are a lot of nice little touches, like the buttons being slightly offset on the right side so you can easily reach them with your thumb. There's a fingerprint sensor around back so it's easy to hit. There's just a lot of nice little touches here. It's rocking a 5.7 inch 1440p OLED display. The screen is awesome. There's really nothing to complain about. And on top of that, you have dual front facing speakers. It's also rocking a 12 megapixel camera, and it's actually not too bad. Since it's a bigger phone, it's easy to be productive on it. You can take notes and do all the important things in life, like check Snapchat, email, Pokemon Go, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, all the basics. You can also pick up a live case for your Nexus. Now, I actually really like these. First of all, they're completely customizable, so you can print whatever you want on here. I used a Google map. However, if you'd like, you can print your own photos, patterns, whatever you want. There's an extra button on the back of the case, which is programmable. So you can do a few different things with it, such as opening an app, or you can do something basic, like turn on the flashlight. Another cool accessory for the Nexus is Google Cardboard. Now this actually will work with a lot of different phones, but this is by far the cheapest way to get into virtual reality. You know what's crazy is just how immersive Google Cardboard is. I mean, consider this is literally a couple pieces of plastic and some cardboard along with a smartphone. Cardboard also works if you wanna watch videos by yourself, which is super helpful if you're in a dorm and you wanna catch up on some latest YouTube uploads. <laughs> <laughs> Something else you might want to consider picking up is a Chromecast. So this little guy will turn pretty much any HDMI display into a smart TV. The way it works is Google Cast. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi as the Chromecast, most apps on iOS and Android will let you cast video to your TV. It's dead simple. There's no remote as you control everything from your phone, laptop, or tablet. Because this is so small, not only will it fit in even a tight dorm setup, but it's easy enough to throw in a bag or even a pocket and take with you pretty much anywhere. If you guys are interested in anything I talked about in the video, definitely be sure to check out the links in the description. The Google Store is awesome enough to support the channel so go show them some love. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.